guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to Squads of the Week number two. If you missed Squads of the Week number one, I would recommend you go back and watch it. If you can't be bothered, basically, Squads of the Week is where I go out during the week in live streams, build teams, try a couple of games with them, and uh, at the end of the week, I bring you all of the different squads I've built. So this isn't just one squad builder, this is like six, I think, this week. And uh, I try all these different teams out, I get a feel for them, I can let you know how some of the players play, um, you can get some inspiration for teams that you could potentially build, and it's kind of interesting to see all the different teams and you give me some feedback and whatever else um, on how I can improve some of them. Now, got to remember this is a first owner account, so most of the players on this account are first owner, I don't really go out and buy players, um, so it does make the whole squad building element a little bit more difficult, and uh, yeah, I think it actually makes it more enjoyable as well. I asked your guys feedback last week and you said you wanted to see some goals in this series, so uh, that's what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to shove some goals in where I can for each team. Now, as you can see here, we have a, well, interesting squad. It's a little bit of a hybrid. It is a PSV meets BPL meets League One meets... La Liga. Um, lots of different teams and leagues in there. Um, basically, I wanted to build this team because I wanted to try out Depay and Willian. Depay's got five-star skills. So I just packed Willian, so uh, easy thing to do. Now, the difficulty with this squad was really linking the sort of like BPL and the Air Divisie together because I didn't have Robin Van Persie. I haven't packed him yet, so um, it was difficult to link the two together. So I ended up having to move here Win Jarlam up to striker because he's the only one that's really viable as a striker. Most of the strikers in in the Air Divisie aren't all that good and plus he plays for PSV makes it very easy for me to get to pay in and I don't need any more links into them. Got Remy up front who's fantastic, can't take anything away from the guy. Uh, Gorkov at Cam, we got uh, Matuidi and Mavuba at the CDM positions and they are a pretty good force, I won't lie, um, Matawidi especially. We've got Inform Miranda at the centre-back position on the right side, Laporte in the middle, and then Varane on the left centre-back position, and then we've got uh, Diego Alves in goal. was quite a nice team, um, generally... Um, it was a little bit weak on the left side of the pitch. I didn't enjoy Depay as much as I thought I was going to, mainly because he had to be paired up with Wingelham up front, who was all right but wasn't amazing. The left or oh, the right side of the pitch was pretty strong, and uh, the defence was quite good. Laporte, I didn't really enjoy. I'd recommend that you use Matthew instead because he would fit in this squad as well. Um, but generally, quite a nice team, and uh, we can move on to the next one. So next one is going to be also built on Mondays. You can see I label them up as which day I built them on. Um, this is quite a cool one. Um, it was sort of like built because I really enjoy using central teams. I'm not really enjoying using wingers all that much at the moment, or I wasn't at the time. I am now, but um, at the time, wasn't really enjoying using wingers all that much. So I wanted to build quite a central team, and I also wanted to use Higuain, who actually turns out to be a phenomenal player. He is really, really, really good. Recommend you try him out if you haven't already. Um, I was expecting him to be rubbish like he has been on all the other FIFAs, but this year he is awesome. Put Mertens in behind him to get chemistry, which obviously lent us uh, into using Lukaku. Didn't enjoy Lukaku as much as Benteke. Would recommend you use Benteke instead. We got the likes of Dembele in there. We've got Marquisio. And then we actually go into sort of like... Um well, it's Lee 1 at the back. You can see we've got Veretti or Veratti. Um, wasn't all that impressed with him, but he was better than I was expecting. Marquinhos is, you know, kind of average just because his physical stats are so bad. David Luiz is still a tank. Ruffier is very, very strong in goal. And Felipe Luiz is, uh, well, quite a good left back. I wouldn't say he's unbelievable, but, you know, for a Brazilian left back in BPL, you're not looking, well, you don't think there's actually any others that you could use. But really, really good team. Um, I enjoyed using it. I think I won the game that I played with it. So there you go and uh, Higuain, as I said, one that you have to try out if you haven't already. Okay, next squad is going to be a 4 triple 2 and you can see we've got Adrian Ramos and uh, Jackson Martinez up top. I won't stay on this squad too long um, because it actually just turned into a Bundesliga team, um, mainly because, you know, I put uh, Martinez in, then played Quintero behind and then you know, Liga Portuguesa isn't all that good. There wasn't really anything that I could do that would have made this team stronger. This is as strong as it could get. So, um, generally, it was all right. Ramos is much better than Martinez, in my opinion. Um, Martinez is still good, but, you know, Ramos just blows him out of the water. So, probably just use Ramos if you're going to use a Colombian squad and then pair him up with a Barbo because I know that a Barbo is very, very good. Um, next squad is going to be a 5 2 1 2. We went ultra sweaty one day. I was like, you know what? I'm sick of people just running through my defense. I'm going to do exactly what they're doing to me um, and sit back and counter attack. So, I actually played, I think, ultra defensive and counter attacking with Musa and uh, Dumbia up top with uh, Valbuena sitting behind them. 
really good squad, won't lie, won the game easily, like, once I frustrated my opponent enough, like, in the 60th minute or so, when he was getting tired of trying to attack my unpenetrable defence, um, he just ended up going attacking, and I just countered him, and scored a whole load of goals, which was a lot of fun, we got Matuidi and uh, the Kabai, Kabai? in the uh, centre mid positions and then David Luiz behind them. Uh, Carl Walker obviously amazing, Kabul's in there, we've got Mangala in there, Rufia at the goalkeeping position and then Kalishi at left back. Very, very solid defence and uh, as I said, almost impenetrable, impenetrable for my opponent to get through. Okay, next squad is going to be a 4-3-1-2. As I said, I'm enjoying the central teams. I managed to pack Balotelli, so really wanted to try him out. Also wanted to make this team a hybrid, so ended up going with uh, sort of like a Liga uh, Serie A hybrid. You're always getting loads of different clubs in. Um, but it's very difficult to make an interesting hybrid that doesn't use a lot of players from the same club because you need that strong link. And if they're not from the same club, it just makes it very difficult to get the uh, strong link into them. And, you know, there's no way to get nationality links anymore like you did on like FIFA 13 and FIFA 12. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just not the same. Anyway, ended up going with Cech. He's sitting in the centre attacking mid position with uh, Mandzukic on the other side. Two pretty strong strikers, I have to say. Balotelli, awesome. Try him out if you haven't already. Got Lalana in the cam position where he's actually centre mid, but he was really good. It was like a toss-up between him and Coutinho. Um, and he was definitely the one that you will choose every time now for me, but personally, because he has five-star weak foot and four-star skills, and he just bossed it in the midfield. He really did. Got the informed Rakitic thing behind Mandzukic. We went Perlo in the centre mid position. Then we got the uh, Juventus defence. I actually haven't packed Chiellini yet, otherwise he probably would have been in there in the place of either Barzagli or Caceres. Got Moreno at the left-back position and Montoya at the right-back position. Good team, fun to play with, um, but, you know, I struggled a little bit with Perlo in that sort of, like, holding midfield position. He didn't really track back with only 43 pace and 55 defence you wouldn't expect him to okay final squad of the day I know this video is running on a little bit and it is going to be a 4-3-3 false nine formation uh, wanted to try out Ozil because I packed him and uh, you can see that I put Griezmann on the left wing position because he is awesome this year really good player already shown him in one of my squads but he was awesome and also Alexi Sanchez as well because he is also awesome rapid he stole the show with this team it was really really cool Ozil did amazing in the centre forward position I won't lie very very strong centre forward Forward, good at holding the ball. Actually a very good player this year as last year he wasn't all that good. We've got um, Wilshire in there. Would actually use Ramsey if I had the choice, but I didn't have Ramsey at the time. Then we've got uh, Gabby in there. We've got, Na uh, who is this, uh, Luis Gustavo. With Naldo sitting behind, we have Miranda in form in there again. We have Alba. We have Kyle Walker. And then we have Julio Cesar in goal. Another very strong team, and I would recommend you try this one out too. Um, I think actually I said that they were all strong. I think maybe the 4-3-1-2 and the 4 one two one two teams probably were the weaker out of the ones that I showed you and the other ones definitely go ahead and try if you've got the coins to do so hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you are new um, I'm going to be uploading a squad builder with my Ronaldo team which is on believable you guys are gonna want to try it out you're gonna kill yourself to get the coins to actually buy Ronaldo because he is fantastic and this squad is unbelievable and it doesn't really work without him. So hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be uploading that Ronaldo squad build on Monday. Um, yeah, as I said, subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed and I will see you all next time.